create after more than a decade, Matchbox 20 is out with new music. Our anchor, Jamie Yukas, caught up with the band this week at the Hollywood Bowl and found out the new album almost never happened. We all remember the alternative post grunge band that formed in the 90s for its angsty lyrics and sound and songs like 3 AM, Real World and Bent. The band's new album, Where the Light Goes, dropped today, and it's fun. I wonder where I'd go if I could fly around downtown. At the iconic Hollywood Bowl. From some other planet, I get this funky high song. Thousands of Matchbox 20's most diehard fans, myself included, took a trip back to the 90s for a show years in the making. People are so excited for you to be back. It feels great. Yeah. I mean, you know, we were after the three years of being gone, especially, and seeing that, that these people waited around, they held their tickets. After three cancellations here because of COVID, the band is back to play the classics and to show off some new tracks emerging from the darkness of the pandemic. I can't imagine now not have made this record. I've interviewed so many artists who went into the studio and they put together these really emotional, very deep, very dark, you know, introspective yeah. albums. This is really fun. I don't think it was an intentional thing where we were just like, hey guys, let's make something positive. But we did kind of realize that we were doing that and then we just sort of dove into that. <laughs> Matchbox 20 formed in 1995. Current band members Rob Thomas, Paul Doucette, Brian Yale, and Kyle Cook have been friends and bandmates for almost 30 years. They rose to fame thanks to their debut album, Yourself or Someone Like You, which featured the breakout single, Push. With each single that followed, the fan base grew and the group's sound evolved. You had a little manufactured 90s angst. Without a doubt, that's exactly what we call it now. At that age, though, like when we were making it, it's not like we were sitting there going, we're going to manufacture this thing. It felt like just what you're supposed to do. And then you kind of, as we sort of grew as people and as a band, we just started to go like, I don't think that's who we are. And yeah, then I also think on your you first are. record, I mean, you're, you're literally listening to a band learning how to make a record, right? So sure. on that first record, we were much more of an influence of the things that we were listening to at the time. And I don't know how to get it back. So good. Today, getting back to good for Matchbox 20 means moving on from the angsty mood of the 90s and early 2000s. Do you feel like you this is this is your grown up record? I think this is our grown up record with being okay with being grown up. Yeah. There are it's more now. songs where if you talk about aging, it's not with disdain, it's not with fear. Can you see me? Where the Light Goes is the band's first album in 11 years, born out of time off from touring during the pandemic. I think a lot of fans like myself wondered if this would ever happen. Us too. Yeah. yeah. Idea, yeah, I was really gunning for the idea yeah, of like making Yeah, like if we're going to do this, then maybe we should just make an album. You know, let's look at the idea of not doing the album a traditional way as something interesting and something that might inform uh, the music that we've made all these years and do something cool with it. The band hit the road this year with more than 50 North American dates, a sort of return to normalcy. So we're walking behind stage. You've got all the equipment out. We do. It, it might sound silly, but this right here, like this aesthetic, this look, seeing these things is one of the most comforting things on the face. I know of it really is. Why? Like, I don't know. You're seeing the cases, seeing the crew, seeing all the, you know, just. We've been doing this our entire adult lives. And on this tour, some familiar company. Hey, what's Hold going on, on man? I haven't seen this guy in a while. What's up? Opening their very first Hollywood Bowl appearance, Thomas's son Mason and his band, The Lucky. 
your son is technically going to play the bowl before you before do. Before I do, yeah, because he's opening up the show. How do you feel about that? I, you know what? That's a part of me that's very, very happy. And there's a part of me that's like, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. For almost three decades, fans have swooned over Matchbox 20. Yeah, when she says, baby. Throw the arm, throw the arm, throw the arm. Throw the arm. A legacy not lost on these longtime friends. It's all I know is growing up and growing up to your music. There are so many women that listened to the lyrics and went, oh my gosh, he's speaking to me. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Not just women. <laughs> One of the best things about whatever you want to call it, but the legacy of a, of a band like our band is that it's, it's really about this group of songs that, that we recorded that have become a part of people's lives. Like you see it, like it's really a personal thing to a lot of people. The new album is reflective about aging. The band says while touring in their 50s hurts a little bit more physically than when they were in their 20s, they're so grateful to be in the position they're in and become more comfortable in their own skin every day. Jamie Ukas, KCAL News.